Hello, welcome to Studio From Home with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia. My name is Adam Graham and I'm the Regional Coordinator for the Outreach Program with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia in Yarmouth. When I'm not working with the Art Gallery, I work as a photographer. I love photography and the way that it can help me see everyday objects differently. Today I'm going to talk about landscape photography and how you can look at objects in the landscape, see them as shapes, and arrange them intentionally in your photograph. This activity is based on the artwork Harbor Entrance by Ned Pratt. This is a photograph that is included in the exhibition One Wave, which is a collection of a selection of Ned Pratt's photographs that were taken over 10 years. One Wave will be on display at the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia in Halifax from October 2020 to the beginning of February 2021. When you look at this photograph, what do you feel? Is it like other pictures that you've seen before? Is it like other pictures of the ocean that you've seen before? I really like that when I look at this photograph, the subject is familiar, but it's a very different way of looking at it. To do this activity, you just need a camera and some time to explore. I, when I went out, I used my SLR camera, um, but you don't need to use anything fancy, just a smartphone or whatever camera you have on hand will do. One way to get better at photography is to have an idea in mind of what you want to photograph before you go out and take your pictures. So for this activity, I want you to think about the composition of your pictures before you take them. When you look at Harper Entrance, you see that Pratt very intentionally put the horizon line right across the middle of the photograph. It kind of splits the top and the bottom into two big rectangles. And then again, on the bottom, there's another line right in the middle that splits the bottom half into two halves as well. So what you get are three rectangles uh, that are perfectly balanced top and bottom, and then also left and right as well. When I wanted to take my pictures, I tried to keep that simple composition in mind. I looked for geometric shapes and I tried to find symmetry either top and bottom or left and right uh, to keep things really balanced. Let's have a look at some of the photographs now that I made when I went out on my photo walk. I found this a really interesting challenge because it's not something that I usually do in my photographs. Usually I'm looking for diagonal lines uh, or curves or ways to add depth to my pictures. Um, so to really simplify things down to geometric shapes, uh, and try to find that balance, try to cut the picture in half, either horizontally or vertically, was, was really different for me and it was a really fun challenge. This is one thing that I really like about Pratt's compositions, is that it encourages you to think about the world differently and the things that you see. So instead of going out with your camera to take a picture of something, you can go out and see the shapes that are there and arrange them within the frame of the camera. One quick safety note while you're out taking your pictures, as you move around and try to make your compositions in your camera, make sure that you're not moving your feet while you're looking through your camera or at the screen of your smartphone. It is too easy to trip over something while you're doing that, and it is definitely something that I've learned the hard way. After you get back from taking your pictures, there's definitely still more that you can do with them. There are a lot of free editing apps for either computer or your smartphone that will let you really dig into your pictures and, and play with the composition through cropping or contrast. Uh, and you can continue to just have fun with them that way. We would love to see what you've created. Please tag us on social media so others can see your work as well. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos and lessons from Studio From Home with the Art Gallery of Nova Scotia.